Hello, nail peoples. I got a parcel. I got a parcel from Rachel. Do you prefer Rachel or Rich? I'd actually, I actually don't know that. Um, so Rich Appleby 2018, that's her YouTube. She does lovely swatches and just, anyway, she is a sweetie. I don't know if you remember um, my, one of my rare Topic Tuesday videos, the recent one, and I was talking about blues. And then I suddenly came to Autumn and realized that I didn't have any sort of dusty blues. And I'm like, oh, Miss Bean, I want dusty blues. And Rachel, the sweetie, was like, Oh, I have a dusty blue. I'll send you it. How lovely is that? How lovely. Um, so <laughs> when, funny story, when the parcel arrived, I didn't know who it was from and I got so confused because I was expecting a single polish from Rachel, but she has sent me a bunch of goodies. Oh my goodness. You so didn't have to do that. So let's open them together. And, um, Here's, here's all the goodies. Look, look how cute, how cute is this? Oh my goodness. Uh, oh, this is seriously always useful. I have really ridgy nails. I, I think it's just genetic because my dad has it. He's got, and his are really pronounced. I hope mine don't get that bad. <laughs> no offense, dad. <laughs> but um, especially this one. I don't know why, but this one is a, like, anyway. So I do buff occasionally. So this is really useful. I know you're not to buff too often. I, I tell you what, it's really hard not buffing too often when you've got ridgy nails. Anywho, so thank you. And here is the polish in question. Let's just get straight to the the the, the one that caused the parcel. <laughs> and this is China Glaze. Sample sizing me up. Oh my word, this colour. See, now that, that is a perfect dusty blue. That is so good. Ah, uh, oh, that is so good. Thank you so much, Rachel. I'm so excited to have my sort of first, I mean, so chatting to Amanda, I realized that the essay, that the essay that I showed that didn't make the video is kind of a dusty blue, but then it's got shimmer in there and I was like, mm, I don't know. But this, this literally is perfect. I'm so excited to wear this. I might even have to wear this in September. It may go on my autumn rack or it, I may be too excited. <laughs> <laughs> to try it. Um, oh my goodness. Look. How cute is this? For Luna. <laughs> that, that is just the sweetest thing. Oh, I. Um, you know what? She hasn't had these sticks in ages. I know she likes the duck flavour. So that will be a really nice treat for her. Usually she gets dreamies. So thank you so much for that. Uh, Luna will be very happy. <laughs> Um, oh, oh, so many things I don't know what to look at first. Oh my word, this is so cute. This style, this is reminding me of Neko Atsume. Is it Neko Atsume? The, you know the Wii Mobile phone game? Um, that so reminds me of that. That is so cute. Oh my goodness, it even has a bum. Wow. wow. <laughs> that is funny. Ah, ah, let's look at the forest first. Oh, oh my goodness. Look at this cute note. It's a happy note. I still haven't tried foils. This, okay. So now, now I have to try them. Um, these, how does this even work? Like how does, how does this work? Somebody needs to teach me. <laughs> or I'll look up YouTube. That is so pretty. I think this is my mum's favorite flower, this one. I don't remember what it's called. I don't know flowers. Oh, these are so... Oh, oh, there's a galaxy one! Okay. That... Am I... Oh. Oh, feathers. I love feathers. Oh, these are so cool. Thank you. Uh, okay, I'm never going to get them back into the bag right now. So they can go over there. <laughs> oh, my word. This is so sweet. I just had my birthday last week. Um... And how cute is this? Make a wish, tie on the bracelet when the thread wears thin breaks away, your wish will come true. And it's a star, which is perfect because stars is like, it's like my aesthetic, I love stars. Oh my word, I love it. Thank you so much, Rachel, you're so cute. I received two of these by mistake. Thought you might like it. 
Oh, it's Mundo de Unas. Nice small images for small nails. Oh, little gnomes. Do you know what? I don't think I have any little gnomes. I don't think I've got any gnomes on any... For the amount of plates I've got, it's amazing when you don't actually have an image. <laughs> I love these little sort of plaid hearts. That's really cool. And look how nice and tiny some of these are. That's so good. Like, even on my nails, that tall gnome is going to fit. I love it. Thank you so much. I am definitely going to do little gnome nails. I love the little pouches they come in. Like, it keeps them nice and safe, doesn't it? Okay. Uh, okay. Thought you might enjoy these protos. Oh, my goodness. Uh, my polish. <gasps> oh my word, that is stunning. What a gorgeous, like it's like, it's like a mushroom hollow. <laughs> me and my, me and my colour descriptions, seriously, but that's just making me think of mushroom. I, I, I don't know why, but it is. That is so beautiful. Oh my word, I love it. And we love our prism. Ooh, this is reminding me of something. Oh, that's so gorgeous. I love the little sort of flakies in there. Um, the lighting's not the best. Can you see? Can you see the flakies? That is so good. Couldn't resist sending you some Halloween! Oh, you know me so well! Okay, so, yeah. Halloween is my favourite nail art season of the year. It brings me so much joy and I absolutely love it. And oh my word, look at the little bats! Oh my, ah, is that like, it's like a yellowy orange. Well, marigold, marigold bats. <laughs> and black and hollow. This is like the perfect mix. Oh, I love it. Oh my word, are these false skulls? Nail star glue, oh. Oh, I'm guessing that to put on the foily stuff you put on the it's it's not nail glue it's a different type of glue isn't it oh. oh okay this is really making me want to actually finally try and do foils hollow hollow skull and crossbones excellent stripes and cobwebs cobwebs is like one of my favorite things uh, bats, cobwebs, ghosts. I mean, I love all Halloween stuff, but they're like my top faves. That is so cool. Oh my. See, now these aren't... These feel more foily and these feel more plasticky, but do you use the same technique? I, I... Whoa, these are so cool. These are so cool. I wonder, could I, like cut them out and almost use them as like a placement decal but for, for those those ones oh 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 my there's so many in here because they're so thin you don't realize how many these are so cool oh my goodness these are excellent okay i'm gonna have to learn aren't i because now i've got all these cool things <laughs> I put them. There, there's no way I'm getting them back in the that pack. <laughs> How do you store your foil, foils? I might put them in this big bag here because just put them back into this bag because it's a bit bigger and looser. Oh my word, are these little pumpkins? <gasps> Orange metallic pumpkins. Okay, this is the coolest thing. This is the coolest thing. Oh my, okay. These are so cool. I need to get one out just to go. Oh, look how... So cool. Do you see how you how, Oh, it's so shiny, oh my word. And see, how, because how tiny my nails are, like, I wouldn't even need to stamp. I just put on, I just, I could just put on the shiny pumpkin and, and, and it's all good. <laughs> That's so cool. Love these. Oh, water side, water side decals is my favorite. I, I, I would say I definitely prefer prefer them to stickers because stickers you know 
I don't know, because they don't they don't sit as flat. Like I, I, I think waterside decals are more sleek. Stickers kind of stick up a wee bit. Not that I, I mind the sticky uppy stuff. I would put gems and glitter and I wouldn't care, but. Uh, oh, these are cool. These are very cool. And yay, cobwebs and spiders. These are definitely, these are more sort of creepy vibes. That is for, that's for some serious Halloween. Uh. <laughs> oh my goodness, Rachel, thank you so, so much. Yeah, we had a bit of a laugh because she, she didn't put a note in. So I didn't know who the, I didn't know who the parcel was for. And I was trying to do a bit of detective work and I looked at the postcode because it was just a postcode and I couldn't work out who lives there. I have no, I have no idea. In the end, I had to open one polish. So I opened this polish and then I immediately, I knew, I knew it was Rachel. Because <laughs> I was not expecting all these amazing goodies. And Rachel, this is just the cutest, sweetest thing. Thank you so, so much. And please do check out Rachel on, on YouTube and Instagram and all the places. Thank you for the Luna treats as well. <laughs> so cute. Yeah, you're so thoughtful and, uh, I really appreciate this wonderful little parcel. Thank you so much. Bye, everybody. Thanks for watching.